I was saying. We are moving switches today. Moving switches. Can you guys hear me? <clears throat> How about now? Is that better? Moving switches. I feel like you guys can hear me now. I like that vibe. We stay quiet. We get to lube our switches. We get to enjoy some time together. I don't even know who's here, but thank you if you are here. It's much appreciated. Um, let's see. What is this? Now we're building. Now we are building people. Now we are building people. I like this vibe. I like this vibe I'm getting right now. I don't even care who's here. I just like the vibe. on here so if you guys try to look it up you ain't gonna get nothing
And yes, I do have two mouses. And yes, my one mouse is kind of greasy because I was clicking it after I washed the earth motion on my hand. Don't apologize. What's up, Cass? How you feeling? Thank you. 
that's the name of it, right? <clears throat> How are you today, though? You guys okay? Whoever's here? I don't know who's here, but... If you are here, how are you feeling today? How are you guys feeling? Rock. Piano. Wait. Walk. Opener and switch puller. Yes. All these windows are playing its fucking the computer. Not getting any audio in your headset. Are you serious? What the fuck?
Get on your speakers. Is the audio good? this on the social media. Speakers? Yo, what the fuck, dude? That's a mad movie. I can't find my other switch puller. It's okay. Let's keep doing this. Let's check out these. Check these out, though. Don't these look fire as fuck? Just to let you guys know I am doing this and I'm probably going to put this one on YouTube as well. Um, I can show you how my keyboard sounds right now. This is how my, my keyboard sounds right now. You ready? This is my enter. Backspace. I don't know why my backspace sounds so different. Space bar. Left shift. Caps. smaller one 60% which means there's no arrow keys it's also really dirty I gotta clean this off today um, no arrow keys um, no F keys just there minimum pretty much um, yeah and I'm gonna be switching out I think like 90 something switches today. <laughs> no not 90 I'm sorry like 60 something and I'm doing it with the Echo Rose Red. Type exclamation point build. Type exclamation point build. cheap. These are on Amazon, actually.
Let's see how they sound. Stock. Switch out one of these to see how it'll sound. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That was not supposed to happen. switchboard bro This is stock, no lube, no switch, or no film. Ooh. You hear that? God damn, you should see my face right now. This is Smexy. This is a good one. The, my old one, these switches. The Gladys Clear. Or Gladys. switches bro I'm gonna put my old switches in here put the old switches in there no actually let's put the old switches right here put the old switches right here we're gonna put the, the done switches in here that are moved opened and filmed so let's get this out Bro, this, this is a horrible switch grabber. I need to find mine. Where's mine at? small and flimsy. Like so small and so flimsy. God, everybody's 
two of my hands. And it's greasy. Is this the wrong size switch opener? Oh my god. Did I get the wrong size switch opener? Couldn't have. I don't think I got the wrong size switch opener, bro. For Cherry MX. But this is a Cherry MX, right? <laughs> That's the thing about fucking. It's a CS switch, not a Cherry MX. It's a CS. Compatible for MX. I mean, that's okay. I just, it's just gonna be harder to open up my switches now. It's really just gonna be a bitch to open up every single one of these like this. It's really easy to be honest. I just open like that. I don't need a switch open. Right? and today I'm going to be teaching you how to lube your MX style switches. Lubing switches is an extremely popular customization performed by mechanical keyboard enthusiasts as it can greatly enhance the smoothness and acoustics of a switch when done properly. Just take a listen.
for the majority of people in the hobby, it's one of those things where once you try it, it's hard to go back to life without it. I should mention lubing is generally only done to linears and tactiles, especially when it comes to MX style switches. Although you can lube certain clicky switches, it's usually not recommended due to the nature of the mechanisms of clicky switches. While I'll be sharing my personal method for lubing MX style switches in this video, it's not the only way to lube switches, so feel free to adapt it to a method that works for you. First, I'm going to be showing you guys how I lube a single switch, and then in the later part of the video, some tips and tricks for when you lube multiple switches in a row for a build. Let's get the things we need out of the way first. You're obviously going to need your lube of choice and your switches. For this tutorial, I'll be using Crytox 205 Grade Zero, a fairly popular lubricant, and Cherry MX Black switches. My methodology is the same regardless of what lube I use, so even if you're not using Crytox 205 Grade Zero, you can still follow along in this video. Feel free to adapt it to a method that works for you. To MX style switches. Although you can lube certain clicky switches, it's usually not recommended due to the nature of the mechanisms of clicky switches. While I'll be sharing my personal method for lubing MX style switches in this video, it's not the only way to lube switches, so feel free to adapt it to a method that works for you. First, I'm going to be showing you guys how I lube a single switch, and then in the later part of the video, some tips and tricks for when you lube multiple switches in a row for a build. Let's get the things we need out of the way first. You're obviously going to need your lube of choice and your switches. For this tutorial, I'll be using Crytox 205 Grade Zero, a fairly popular lubricant, and Cherry MX Black switches. My methodology is the same regardless of what lube I use, so even if you're not using Crytox 205 Grade Zero, you can still follow along in this video. It's ideal that you have a switch opener, especially if you plan on building multiple keyboards. The one I'm using here is from Keyboss. I've been using it now for almost three years, and have felt no need to purchase a new one, but any similar product will do, they essentially all work the same. I'll have links to this as well as some alternatives down below in the description box. You're also going to want a thin paintbrush, preferably a double zero or triple zero size. And I'm not exactly sure what this last item is officially called, but at least in the context of keyboards, we're going to call it a stem holder. This one is somewhat optional, it's more of a quality of life kind of product, but I personally recommend it. First, we need to disassemble the switch. A MX style switch is composed of a top housing that clips onto a bottom housing via four clips. You simply position the switch onto the switch opener such that a I got you, Savage, no problem. <laughs> Yo, um, off screen. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I wanna take the stems from these and use them on these so for everything on every switch i switch out i'm going to take one from here and take the stem you know what i mean okay bet if i can grab the stem with these bo this bogus ass switch puller I can't believe I got the wrong opener. Oh, this opener works for this. This opener works for this one. Wow. It works for this. Insane.
These are stock springs too. I could save these springs. I mean, I'm saving the stems for sure. Saving the stems. We'll have to put the body of the housings in there. Okay. The side with two visible clips are aligned with a side with two prongs on the opener and then gently push down just enough such that it separates the two halves. Once you've opened up the switch, separate out all the components. Now that we've opened the switch, it's time to apply lube where needed. There's a great post by community member Walker Stop over at Keep Talk that documents areas of friction within a switch that I highly encourage everyone to check out as it'll provide some great insights into why certain areas of a switch are lubed. And one final advice before we dive in, the key to lubing is less is more. If you're new to lubing, I highly encourage you to start with as little lube as you can during application, since if you end up feeling like your switch can use more lube, you can always add more, but removing lube is a much more cumbersome process. Okay, we're gonna start off by lubing the bottom housing first. Dip your brush in your lube and gather enough lube on the tip. Lube, keygasm. Yeah, I'm using these. I'm using these switches. I'm using the white stems. I mean, I'm gonna put these. Here. Sorry, just hit the mic. around the size of half of one of the gold switch pins. I transfer half of the lube onto one of the slider rails. I I just go off visuals for this step, 
and then deposit the remaining half on the other slider rail. Then I spread the lube across both rails until I feel I've evenly coated the entirety of both rails. You don't want to see any of the whiteness of the lube remaining, just a bit of sheen. If you see white, then you've probably over -lubed. At this point, there's probably some slight residual lube throughout the entire tip of your brush, whether you see it or not. I like to use whatever is left over and apply a thin coating on the two bumps on the leaf. Now, when you learn about lubing switches, some slight residual lube throughout the entire tip of your brush, whether you see it or not. I like to use whatever is left over and apply a thin coating on the two bumps on the leaf. Now, when you learn Learn about lubing switches, you'll often hear Peacemaker? What's Peacemaker? People recommend that for linear switches, you should lube the leaf and or stem legs, and that for tactile switches, you shouldn't. I both agree and disagree with this advice. For linear switches, yes, you should 100% apply lube to either, if not both, the switch stem legs and the leaf. Many people advise against doing the same for tactiles for two reasons. The biggest reason being that many new enthusiasts will tend to over -lube these points, which secondly, by doing so, can reduce the tactility of tactile switches drastically. Especially with the thicker Crytox and Trebosis lube being very popular nowadays, it's very easy to over -lube the leaf and potentially turn your tactile switches into essentially a linear switch. This is a trade-off you'll have to consider when lubing tactile switches, as lubing these areas can lead to smoother tactiles at the expense of some tactility, but little to none if done right. Next, we can move on to the spring. We only really need to lube the ends of the spring, where the spring coils are bunched up, as that's where the majority of spring ping tends to generate from. I take a somewhat generous amount of lube, this time around the size of an entire switch pin, and spread it across one end of the wire. And I make several passes around the outside of the coil, as well as the inside of the coil. For the spring, it's okay to still see the whiteness of the lube after brushing it on, as it's a bit more forgiving than the other components. After you've lubed one end of the spring, install it back onto the bottom switch housing, making sure that the side you just lubed touches the bottom. With the spring installed back, John Cena. Oh, Peacemaker. <gasps> Peacemaker from Suicide Squad? He's They made a trailer for that shit? Already? Didn't he just fucking show up in Suicide Squad, like, this year? <laughs> Does that even make sense? Gonna be on HBO Max. Wow. Okay. That's insane. She just came out. Back onto the bottom housing, repeat the lubing process for the other end of the spring that's exposed. Once we've done that, we can set the bottom housing aside as we'll be lubing the stem next. If you do own a stem holder, you can now use it to grip the stem by the crucifix. Otherwise, you'll just need to use your fingers. I mean, I have a, I have a... Once again, we're going to take a... <laughs> Thank you. 
Eight episodes is gonna be a series. about half a gold switch pin sized amount of lube and use this for lubing the entirety of the switch stem. Deposit half of the lube onto one of the stem sliders, then deposit the rest on the opposite stem slider. At this point, you'll still have some residual lube no. on the tip of your brush and I just stab the back face a couple times as well as the top portion of the then deposit the rest on the opposite stem slider. Switch stem. Deposit half of the lube onto one of the stem sliders, then deposit the rest on the opposite stem slider. At this point, you'll still have some residual lube on the tip of your brush, and I just stab the back face a couple times, as well as the top portion of the front face with the switched legs. Oh my god! This switch, okay. <laughs> then starting with one of the faces with the stem sliders, this thing is not I evenly doing it. spread the lube across the entirety of this face. Make sure to also lube the top ledge of the slider. Make sure to cross the entirety of this face. Make sure to also lube the top ledge of the slider. Also, it is perfectly okay to cross over the edges as they are all points of friction. For the next steps, order of operation is important and I think for my particular method, it greatly helps in maintaining consistency across multiple switches. Once I've lubed a slider stem, I then brush across the back edge several times. Just like I said for the bottom housing, on all areas we lube, we're just looking for a light sheen. We shouldn't be seeing any whiteness of the lube. We then evenly spread the lube on the other switch face with the slider keeping in mind to lube the top ledge as well again. And then finally, I always lube the face with the switch legs last. Evenly brush along the top surface here, regardless of whether your switch is linear or tactile. As mentioned earlier in this video, if you're lubing linear switches, then you should always lube the stem legs next. For tactile switches, consider the trade-off between smoothness and tactility if you choose to do so. At this point, you'll still have some residual lube on your brush, whether you see it or not. I brush evenly on the bottom edges of the stem, lube around the base of the pole, and then just with what sliver of lube remains, I brush it onto the tip of the pole. And that's pretty much it for the lubing process. Now all we have left is to reassemble the switch. You want to place your stem back on the spring making sure to align the stem legs such that they face the leaf of the bottom housing. Then grab your top housing, align the logo with the leaf of the bottom housing. If your switch doesn't have a logo, it's the side with the curve, and snap everything together. And there you have it, you've lubed a mechanical switch. Lubing a single switch is fairly easy. What separates good lubers, lubists, from bad ones is how consistent one can replicate a feel across multiple switches and hopefully for an entire board. When you're lubing switches for a build, find a switch mm -hmm. that you've lubed early on that you are satisfied with and try to replicate that feel for all the oh, other switches. Overlubed. I generally lube in batches of 10 to 20 and after I've lubed a batch, I'll compare all of those switches to that one switch I like and see if I need to make any adjustments. All right, some tips and tricks for when you're lubing multiple switches. A lot of people like to use lube stations, which might help if you're into organizing everything and having an assembly line-like kind of process. I personally don't use one, I just prefer chaos, but this might be something you wanna look into purchasing. One way of being efficient and saving time when lubing multiple switches is to bag or tub lube your springs. It's pretty much what it sounds like. You essentially dump all your springs into a Ziploc bag or a tub. That's you can already see my tub's been coated with lube from previous sessions. Drop a bit of lube into the tub and then shake like there's no tomorrow and let physics do its thing. The idea is that by shaking long enough, everything will eventually have an even coating of lube. You'll be applying more lube than you need in unwanted areas as well, but for something like springs, this isn't too big a problem. Depending on the switch, I may vary things up. For example, I generally don't lube the top housings. 
but sometimes I may if the switch is extremely scratchy. Lubing is also a rather time consuming process. I can lube around 10 to 15 switches an hour, so if I'm lubing enough switches for let's say 60%, that's already 4 to 6 hours I have to carve out of my week. So be prepared to commit several hours to this. Turn on your favorite show or anime while you lube. Oh, and please make sure to wash your hands once you finish lubing, especially if it gets on your fingers. Alright, that's it for this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and until next time. Yo, off screen, listen to this. Off screen, listen. That's the old one. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you stock. I'll show you stock. I'll show you stock. I'll show you stock. My fingers are fucking greasy. <laughs> I'll show you stock. Let me show you stock. Yo, this this switch puller is, is butt cheeks. I should not have to use two hands to take out my motherfucking switch. <sighs> one. <laughs> I did one, y'all. This is, you know what I'm saying? So this right here, egg escape is the new one that's lubed, not filmed. I'm a dumbass, I need to put a film in there. And this is, one is stock, or not stock, one is my, my old switches. And two is, two is the Rose Reds stock with no lube. So over here, listen, check it out. Mm-hmm.
found it. Not my actual switch puller. But fuck, bro. Now we're now here struggling like a dickwad. So now I'm gonna grab the stem. Literally like using your finger and twisting around it, but I find that difficult to lube on the rails. Where they make sure I orient it correctly, because if you orient it the wrong way and you push it in, you'll damage the leaf. And for this housing, there's two little nubs that line up with the legs. That's how I remember which stem rail hits the top of the housing. Drop in your switch, like so. I'll switch. So I'll slide in like that. What are you the film? And both sides open up, you can just pull off the top like so. There you go. You have your own little switch opener. Now that the switch is open, I always start with the bottom side back here. And have both sides open up, you can just pull off the top like so. There you go. You have your own little switch opener. I don't switch. So you can just push using the switch top up. Oh, so I can use sure a, a housing of another fucking switch to open my switch? Finish one switch. Well, which way does the film go? one side a little bit at a time because it's going to push the other side back in. Now you have both sides open up, you can just pull off the top like so. There you go. You have your own little switch opener. Now that the switch is open, I always start with the bottom housing. Open up your lube container. The jars are always easier to use just because they're dip, dip in here, but dip up to the housing right around the side. With the same here is sufficient bottom housing. Film. This is when you would add them. This is a film, a thick film from Jinra. Pretty sure I got it all right.
fuck that up. <laughs> film got ripped up into pieces because it was on the wrong way. But now I think I got it. I think I got it this time. If my switch will close. These films are too thick. Yeah, I can't use these films. They're too thick. It's not letting me close my switch. Alright, you're good. Switches aren't allowing me to close. These films are bad. Bad films. I open this for us.
Hair. That's what you get for using a used stem. Made debris and stuff. He said the legs go by the leaf, right? Pretty sure that's what he said. Where's the top of my shit? Wow. 
Yeah, that's fine. Just fixing the light. Someone's burning a bonfire outside. I dropped my fucking grease. No, I can't use this. It's okay. It's okay. Wipe that off. Get some more.
to mass. Over here, lube in the wrong switch. Wrong, the, wrong, um, the wrong stem. Where's my other stem at? There. Oh, it's right there. No! <laughs> if I drop my loop one more time, bro, I'm gonna be pissed. Three switches down out of what, like ninety? <laughs> Three switches down. Well, only thing we can do is keep going, right? I want to take a rip. If anybody's here and you're new, hit the follow button. If you guys aren't new, thanks for staying and hanging out while I do this keyboard streams. I know you guys are, are used to me doing like gaming stuff and being happy and fun and lit and off the wall, but today we're doing a little different, you know? And cookies. Let's just let you guys know. Cookies. Cookies. Take a look. Anyway, I'm taking a rip. I need one. 
if you guys don't mind. Savage, I got one, buddy. Got one just for you, buddy. God's gift before. Isn't it a mixture of like white rhino and like white widow? It's a mixture of too crazy, too crazy, um, whatever it is. I get to talk to you guys. Savage, how you been, man? Grand Daddy Perp OG Push? Jeez. How you been? How's your day been? You playing the video games? Video games today. to do it. 
Wondering if after all these years you like to be to go over. Thank you for the follow, uh, future bound. They say the time supposed to heal, yeah, but I'm not much pain. Hello, good healing. I'm in California, dreaming, yeah, but who? How are you today? Sorry, I'm trying to keep it really, really chill and lax. I really like this remix, wow. Yo, Future, do you, uh, do you build keyboards? Just let you know if you are new here. I'm just lubing switches right now. Currently lubing um, Echo Rose Red linear switch. Type exclamation point build. I know.
star. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, <coughs> baby, kiss me. What's up, guys? How you feeling? Damn it. <coughs> Still doing my thing. We got three switches down. What about you? Save me some of my Eating chocolate, bro. I'm about to say eating chocolate. God damn. You have some leftovers? Okay, but I'll be over there soon. Song though. Hold my hand. Kind of vibing. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm hella tired from last night. Yesterday was crazy. Staying up and streaming for that long and then fucking doing all that shit on Omega. Uh, my brain is oh, my brain is fried. Yeah, like my brain was fried this morning, bro. Like all those emotions I was feeling and shit. Like I was literally like mentally fried. It was weird. Same time, bro. Like, so I woke up at like 1 30. She was crazy, bro. Too. Like the remixes? Rolling. 
Oh my god. Four down, my guy. In two, in two hours? Alright, send me the link. Yeah, we got four switches done in two hours, dude. We're making good progress. He's <laughs> gonna be here all night. You gonna be here all night? This switch, this was just completely destroyed. Plastic is completely broken. It's supposed to look like this. Like, you know what I mean? Like it has like a damn. A friend of mine sent me about how some guy in his class did a presentation about this song. It's about suicide. 
Really? This isn't about suicide. This is one of my favorite songs, don't tell me that. That's scary. Cause I'd be singing the fuck out this song. Send it. You didn't send it in chat. I don't have Discord open. You gotta send it in chat. I don't have Discord open. Okay, hey, Wizbot. Snapped. I wish I was special. You're so very special. But I'm a creep. I'm a What the hell am I doing? She's going hard. She's going hard, bro.
Banshee, fine. That's incredible. When you were here before, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I eat my dinner in my bathtub, then I go to sex clubs, watching freaky people getting it on, and it doesn't make me nervous if anything. I'm restless, yeah, I've been around, and I've seen it all, I get home, I got the munchies, binge out on my Twinkies, throw up in the tub, and then I go to sleep, and I drank up all my money, it tastes it kind of lonely, well, you're gone, and I gotta say hi, all the time, to give you all my money. She's fucking fire, dude. She said, boop, boop. You see his face in the back? Yes. It's, it's called postmodern, right? Vintage. I'd go to one of these concerts, bro. Postmodern, bro, 100%. Transport me back to this time. Yeah, but not me, bro. They were racist back then. You gotta think about that. There was a time when <laughs> segregation was okay. You know? <laughs> That's why they'd be so mad at Captain America. They're like, Captain America, you let segregation go on, bro, and your, one of your best friends is black. You feel me? It's like a thing. Not to throw off the vibes, but I'm just saying, like, like real talk. <laughs> You know what I mean? But like the 60s and the 70s, bro, like, yeah, you can't catch me there, bro. They would have fucked me up. You'd be cool. You'd be good. Yeah, I'd have to tell them that, you know, you my, that's my master right there. You know what I mean? But now nah, it's fucked up. This is like the 20s, same thing. That's even worse. She's hot. I'm gonna fight them all. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it off. Taking their time right behind my back. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't. 
tell me she's not hot. <laughs> right? Hey bro, let me use your apartment. I gotta shoot a postmodern YouTube video. I would be, I would ask if I could come upstairs. What is going on? She's going hard, bro. Gotcha.
You used to play saxophone though? Thirteen years? What? Can you do stuff like this? He said yes. Okay, but I'm gonna need a YouTube video. Something along the lines of this. Oh, he's about to get on the fucking drums. You haven't played since high school? Yo, tell me these guys aren't going on. What? Shut up. No. No. <laughs> that was great. They can make anything they touch sound good. <laughs> These motherfuckers are musicians throughout, through and through. Now he's on the beat maker. Yeah, this nigga was born in the music. I need to sing. It's a looper. So hard to find. Baby, like, oh, how to do the thing? Way did you do it? And she didn't even show nothing. She be walking down so confident, so heaven sent. I think she was meant to knock the way Good. 
So it records, snips, and plays it back when he hits the button. Like what Kanye West has? And right. No fear, all that confidence. Was it heaven sent? Does it come within? Does it come run out? I don't know. She'll just have them running out and in. Man, they want to sin. Talking deadly sin with Mrs. Lady. I don't understand why she hit them like. Freeform music, bro. Just making shit on the fly. It is. I love like jam sessions like this. Even though I've never had a jam session, I'm just saying like seeing people jam out like that. You said Dana. Incredible. Here's our girl. Here's our girl, Yvonne. Morris, Chris, uh, Really? I never had a jam sesh, but I wanted to so bad. We used to just freestyle in the car. Yeah. 
clubs, clubs, clubs. So in the clubs. Nine. <laughs> Round number nine, baby. box of these. <laughs> I have two boxes. <laughs> she do got that boom boom. Take another piece of this uh, Same base. So if that's what you're into, then go ahead and move along. I'm all about the base, about the base, no trouble. I'm all about the base, about the base, no trouble. I'm all about the base, about the base, no trouble. I'm all about the base, about the base. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. I think I'm going to go back to my my jazz now back to the jazzy jazz yeah we 
just had my son a laser gripping off me before I even knew he was on the First set of ten, done. sometime I took a picture of the keycap as well so I know where all my keycaps gotta go god damn it unless I lose one <coughs> Yes, my keyboard is hot swappable, so that's why I can do this. Hot swappable means the switches just go in with these little gold prongs, and it doesn't need to be soldered. So it's hot swappable. I can just take out the switches. Also, the stabilizers as well. You can follow them out.
that I'm robbing something from the bank. Montage. Seems to be like a montage of me getting ready in the morning. Darling, just try right here and follow my lead. I found a girl, beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were on a summer waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell.
What's up, mystery man? How are you feeling on this glorious Sunday? If you can see, I'm currently opening up my old keyboard switches taking out the stems out of there and I am using these old stems and I'm going to put them into my new switches which I've done with the first pen but I've seen that I can save some time by going through here and opening up, up all of my old switches and just getting them out first and then yeah it's honestly time consuming but I'm having fun and it's gonna be the end payoff is gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it for sure who doesn't like new switches on their keyboard you know what I mean shit it's like a brand new keyboard I was gonna switch out my keycaps too but Keycaps I got were like trash keycaps. So I returned them. And I'm probably gonna get some newer keycaps at some point in period of time. Maybe y'all can help me pick out some keycaps. You guys ever seen keycaps before online? <coughs> Have you guys ever built a keyboard before? Has anybody here ever built a keyboard? If yes... What's your favorite size? Like, do you like full-size keyboards? With like a number sign? All the F keys? number sign number number pad oh all the f keys you know all the fixings or do you like it like me 60 percent i used to like tkl boards 10 keyless so just it would have all the f keys and just have no number pad i look used to like those but then i realized damn i'm using a lot of my desk space but i already don't have I was like, fuck it. Let's cut it down one more size. Let's go to 60%. Nami. You know what I'm looking at? Two and a half hours into stream, we still. Still going hard, baby. Like the whole number pad on the side. Damn, that shit is way too much for me. Like, what do you use it for? What do you use your number pad for? Like, for real, be honest. Answering numbers. <laughs> Why are you lying, bro? You know you use the top row, bro. Your credit card number? Yeah, I mean... Everybody knows how to use a number pad. There was like a number pad class, I remember. There was like a, there was like a, like a lesson teaching you how to use a number pad.
point is, do we need it? Yes, there was, I remember. I definitely, there was like, in the, in the typing, there was a typing, like, lesson, or whatever you want to call it. Like, point and period of time in school. And section, whatever. And we had to do number pads, I remember. And we had to use a number, there was like a number pad game. And like, it was like shit going down on the conveyor belt. And you had to have the thing covered over your your keyboard. And a number would come down on the conveyor belt. And it would say like nine, and you'd have to press it. Or like five, and you'd have to press it without looking at the number pad. This is in like fifth grade, fourth grade. Started giving me random then. Right. Okay. What do you mean? How am I supposed to let you respond now? Like just through Twitch? Five. Six. Twelve. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Thirty-two, I didn't say <laughs> You were doing good. <laughs> you want me to go again? Thousand one hundred and two, six thousand three hundred and twelve, sixty two hundred and four, one thousand and one, eighty six, twelve, ninety three, eighty two, twenty eight, seven, six thousand one hundred and one. said he was sick. I think he just doesn't feel good because uh, I'm busting his ass in, in uh, fantasy football. Ask him. He said he was sick. I talked to him last time and he said, I'm just not feeling good. I'm like, okay. I'm pretty sure it's just because I'm busting his ass. I don't know. like my YouTube video, bro? Wait, what sound did I make? When I went to go grab my the switch that fell? <laughs> I 
Let's go check on Beacon, man. Let's see if he's good. Slash ropes. <laughs> Don't look that up. Okay, but say less. Go like the new video. That one just on me. Hmm. I really stab myself that hard to bleed a little bit. Come on. I guess you're not working on a computer unless you draw blood. Twitch, don't fucking ban me. keyboard unless you drop blood, you know. Someone call the ambulance. <laughs> Police! Help! Police! Help! Police! Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh, fuck. I fucked all up too. Mm-hmm. 
stems. I feel like I should wipe them down a little. These stems are fucking dirty. They got like dirt on them. Oh no, I mean. It's lube, I guess. I mean, yeah. We'll keep it. Keep it, we'll keep it. A little bit of seasoning. You know what I mean? So what's going on with the what's going on with the what's going on with the um with the Colorado situation? What's up with that? What you doing? You signed my lease today? Or right, you signed my lease? You signed the lease today? Drug free zone? <laughs> yes, bro. You know it's gonna be a drug free zone. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a drug free zone. With oh in the building? That's normal. If it was like random drug tests or something, that'd be fucked up. You know what I mean? If they're like random drug tests, then you're like, okay, y'all bugging. You're good though. All right, I'm saying. Or like, if you're. Wait. All places have to have that, by the way, Yvonne. All places have to have that on their, um, on their lease. Saying, like, yo, no smoking is allowed in this building, blah, 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 blah. Because, like, state law. But then it just comes down to the, to the landlord and the people that own the building. 
to see how they act on smoking. Like, obviously, there's going to be people smoking in there. It's fucking Colorado. It's, you know, you get high. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, it's... It's not saying, it's not saying, like, don't smoke. It's more of, like, we have to do this legally. You know, thumbs up. Right, 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 right. Feds. The feds, we. The feds, we. Man, you got to check up on B Cat, bro. I'm, I'm worried about him, bro. I'm worried about him, bro. Thank you, Jake, or Jab. How you feeling today, dude? These are Echo switches. Nothing crazy. Got them off of Amazon. A um, couple of my switches on my keyboard started bugging out. Um, like I was pressing my Q and it wasn't, it wasn't noticing it. And I'm like, fuck! It can't be my fucking my PCB because if my PCB was tweaking. If I switched the switch, it would continue to not work. But I switched the switch and it started working. And I was like, you know what? It gives me a chance to do a keyboard stream. So that's good. That's good, Jeb. That's good. Thank you for pulling up on me, man. How'd you find me? Teha types guy? Or are you a, a hippios guy? Do you know hippios or Teha? And then there's one more. There's a few guys in the keyboard world that run it. Watching Teha types builds. Yes. Okay. Me too, bro. Me too. Me too, bro. <laughs> when he did the Tifu build and I saw that blue, that Fortnite blue, bro, I was like, oh man, I need to start building a keyboard as soon as possible. So I didn't actually build a keyboard. I actually I ordered a keyboard that was already built on eBay. It was a glorious GMMK compact with um, Gladius Gladius clears. Yeah, actually, I'm taking the, I took the stems out of my Gladius clears. I just I just demolished them right here and took the stems out, and I'm replacing my Accio stems with the with the Gladius stems because they're nice and worn too, you know. You got the GMMK full, hey, GMMK brothers, let's go. Hell yeah. How you like the full, bro? Opposed to any other keyboard you've had in life. Yes, dude, get the 60, that's what I got. I'm a 60 man myself, I went from TKL to 60.
you gonna go GMA GMMK still or are you gonna do like a custom build you can do the cult cult keyboard keyboard cult honestly I don't want to let go of my arrows and number pad number pad especially at least for work because I code dude I was thinking the same thing I was I went to school for coding for a very little a very small period of time and I should be going back ASAP but like I started streaming hardcore and like working hella so like I don't know I, I, a lot of my stuff wasn't devoted in the right areas of life so like I kind of withdrew myself from school but like I pushed myself harder in those other places so like I coded a lot in school and I liked the fact that like the 60% was so small and I could just hit all the letter keys and stuff but like coding I feel that like I'm gonna order a separate number key like there's a separate number key like you can get that you could just plug in and like I want to use that for like obviously the hotkeys and the OBS and stuff for what I'm streaming but like yeah bro I feel you dude my um my mod his name's Offscreen Chaos he um he was just talking about he needs his number keys he's like yo I'm not letting go of my number keys bro yeah I feel that though bro I feel you big time What are you thinking about building, my guy? Also, what kind of switch gang are you? What switch gang are you? Linear, tactile, or um, clicky? It's okay. I don't judge. I don't judge. Linear gang. Me too. Let's go, linear gang. You, sir, are a brethren. Dude, black inks, black inks, cause that that's that's gonna be on my next build. Black ink V twos. Yeah, my boy know what he's doing. What games do you play, my guy? If you don't mind me asking, or you just code? Some Valorant today, but my ass was like, you know, I'm, I'm switching these fucking switches. I'm switching these switches today. It's happening. And look what happened. I started. <coughs> where my oh, where my spring go? This is if I fucking overloop my shit, <laughs> I'll be pissed. Honestly, honestly, Jay, uh, Jab, I'm gonna be honest with you. Overlooping is low key, like, the shit. Like, if you overloop it just to the point of, like, okay, this bitch is, like, over, overlooped. Like, right before that, it's good. It's good. It's perfect. That's what I did to my other switches. I just took them off, but, like, my other switches, bro, were fire. And they had films. These, this one's not gonna have any films. Because I guess the films that I got are they're trash bags. 
I guess th these films right here are straight trash bags. Straight up trash bags. See, Black King's overlook. Look, dude. Me and you. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to ask you what you're what you're building. Like, what what are you copying? That's under a hundred dollars. Do you have like an item list or no? Or are you just gonna be like, you know what, fuck it, a hundred dollars to see what I can do? Boba U4Ts. Hmm. Boba U4Ts. I haven't even seen the Bobas. I've heard those. I've heard that name before. What about the um the creams? What do you think about those? I almost bought them. Just because of Teja. I was like, you know, I'm buying these creams, bro. Nah. Nah. Nah, I feel like the creams was cap. I feel like that whole wave was cap. The creams. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of videos saying that black eggs are way better than creams. Like, way better than creams. Like, price-wise... Um, like durability because like creams I guess like creams when you um, you have to use them for a while before they actually get like to the point where you want them because they have like what's it called PBT they call like PB something PC something or P I can't remember the name of the plastic but the plastic basically when you use it over time it gets worn down and it, it becomes you know better I guess Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm going NTC nimble bags. Okay, so the housing tape line, like five layers of boba gum. Yo, you're going hard, bro. U M W H P E. Okay. And palm stems. Okay, yeah, that material. I'm gonna have to do some research on that material, bro. Cause like. I don't know. I was so close to buying them, bro. I was on that wave, just like you. And I was like, I want cream. And then I was like, you know what? Did a couple. What's what's the YouTube video, dude? Let's see if I can find a YouTube video. Oh, I can't type. Sorry. <laughs> can't type right now. I don't have a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> well, the keyboard's like over there, but yeah, the YouTube video. Um, <clears throat> it's basically this dude, uh, Hamajeo, Hajeo, Hamjeo, Hamajeo, whatever his name is. He's like, yeah, black ink's fucking rule, bro. Don't waste your money on creams. It's like actually like twenty five cents on a dollar or something. <laughs> yeah, I have no keyboard chaos. <laughs> My keyboard's right here. With the Band-Aid mod? Band-Aid mod? Pog? Jab, what you know about that? Ah, goddamn. <laughs> he said, bro, you know. <laughs> um, new, um, genuine Durac stabs. Threw away my whack ass GMMK stabs come on you guys know let's get back to get back get back to it <clears throat> um it's just me switching my stuff from uh, switching my switches I'm literally just switching my switches from my GMMK Yeah, 
I'm just switching out switches. Cause like I said earlier, a couple of my um, keys, I guess just wasn't responding and I thought it was the fucking PCB. I thought something was fucked up with my, my overall keyboard. But then I switched out the, I switched the switch. I switched the switch, that's a tongue twister. I switched the switch and it was working fine. So now I'm like, damn, these switches are bunk. So I was like, you know what? Here's an opportunity for me to have a keyboard stream. And I took it. And now I got to meet you, Jeb. Jeb, do you have Discord? appreciate it if you pulled up in our discord and sent your keyboard or at least sent like some of your recent builds bro because i'm trying to get inspired i want to get inspired if you could please join the discord click the purple heart you know whatever the shit is to to accept the rules go to the pictures section there's a bunch of channels and stuff in there there's like a there's a bunch of games and stuff that you can play in my Discord. You should probably mute those channels in the fun section. But like overall, my I wouldn't say my our Discord. Our Discord's actually like really fun. Like there's a lot of things and activities that we do. Like we have watch parties. Um, we're supposed to be having a watch party today, but I'm building a keyboard or moving switches, which is gonna take all night. Um, we have watch parties on Sunday. We were doing an Avengers watch party. Um, I feel like my next movie that we should watch is Halloween. With Michael Myers. So yeah, we do that. Um, we also help streamers learn how to, you know, do things to help their stream uh, grow. Um, like being friends in the Discord and having people come to the to, to their streams from the Discord. Um, there's a bunch of tools inside the Discord. Like, if you connect your switch to the discord it actually pings out to people when you're live um, it's built around basically getting streamers friends and viewers to help grow them from within so yeah that's just me just talking stuff. yo jab thank you for following bro um yeah dude so i haven't been streaming for that long it hasn't, it hasn't been a year yet the off screen how long i've been streaming for i started this year I started this year in like what? End of April? I think it was end of April. Before my birthday, right before my birthday. Um, and yeah, it's just been really fun meeting people, doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, like seven months, I would say. What's the, what's the idea? What's the idea? Let me know. I have U4Ts, right? Wait, what are U4Ts? I only got 10 of them. What are U4Ts, my guy? Is this something I should know? Okay, okay. You only have 10 switches for it. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna change your top row only or something? I'm not as near as Taki as them. Let me look them up. Is that the name? Can I just look that up? Can I just right click it and search Google and will it pop up? kind of pretty these my guy these my guy
Let me just get a duck. Duck. Okay, okay, okay. Say less. Boba. They do look like boba. Look like a boba tea. Damn. Long stems. Holy moly. The stem was long as fuck. <laughs> Where's my... Oh, there it is. Quick question. Jab, do you, uh... Do you lube your top housing? Hell yeah. I don't like tactile either. I don't like the... I don't like that. This... That's what I like, baby. What do these kind of look like? We have to give them a name since they're a, a zombie switch. A Franken switch, I mean. What do they look like? Cherries? Oh, oh! Strawberry milkshake! So I got 10 to test the feel, right? And only put one in. I wasn't a fan of the tactile, but I just took the switch out and moved the stem, and even the tactile part of it broke, bro. It's so good. Why? I think... Do you know, uh, Glarses, Jab? Glarses was talking about that. If you... Some people lube... They over-lube tactiles to make them feel like linears. They over-lube tactiles to make them feel like linears. Which is so strange to me, which is like, bro, just get a motherfucking linear. <laughs> You're fighting so hard to not switch. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good, good job, though. Okay. How do you feel about Franken Switch? If you like the sound. Huh? Oh, the sound. I forgot about the sound. You're right. Okay. See this? I'm I'm super new too, bro. Clearly, um, novice keyboard builder in the <laughs> in the um in the stream title. I'm just a chump. I'm, I'm gonna get there. Jab. I feel like you're ex you're experienced. How many keyboards have you built, my boy? It's got to be at least like ten. I know you built at least ten. I feel like you're a pro. Two, because I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> Yo, why is this profession a profession? Why is this hobby so fucking expensive? <laughs> They're like, yo, if you like keyboards, you're gonna have to pay like $400 for a keyboard. But wait, hold on. Jab. We ain't even talk about this though. These keyboards be reselling. So say you bought a keyboard from Key Cult or like um, Novel, Novel Keys or somewhere like that, KBD fans, like, and you kind of customize it, they resell, you know? I know, I see people putting, like, remember how I told you I bought my keyboard on eBay used? It wasn't used, but it was it was already custom built, so technically it was used. It was just already pre-built. People, I saw keyboards on there, bro like GMMKs like for like $700 just because they have like really good switches or a really good keycap set on there or like a um what's like the special keycap called like it's like a special one um I don't know whatever the, yeah Manufacturing is very expensive. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah, dude, my, even my GM pay full size with all the buying expenses. Yes! Five, six hundred dollars. Yeah, dude, I didn't know this. <laughs> Bro, I was like, 
I resell sneakers, like, you know, like, like hype sneakers, like Nikes, Yeezys and stuff, I resell sneakers, so, like, I kind of understand how, like, reselling goes, but, like, I didn't know fucking keyboards resell, bro, like, what the heck, that shit blew my mind, actually blew my mind, almost what it cost you, so wait, are you, are you gaining money or losing money if you were to sell it? Because I know the GMMK Pro is 180, and the GMMK, the regular GMMK is how much? I can't even remember. first keyboard. I don't think I'm selling this thing anytime soon. <laughs> it's not my first keyboard. It's like my first keyboard that I put effort into. Yeah. Switches are 95. The cats are like 200. You got novelties in the board itself. I think 85, right? That's what I was saying. I think it's 85 for all all three um, form factors. Why the fuck are your keycaps $200? Hold on. Let me see something. What kind of artisan do you have? That's the name I was thinking of, artisan keycaps. Um, what kind of artisan do you have? Thing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, can you just send a link? <laughs> can you send a link, bro? Cause I don't have. <laughs> I don't have my keyboard. <laughs> I don't have my keyboard, my guy. You know, it's kind of hard to like look up stuff right now. Just send the link and I can click it and then um, I can share the screen. Ah, there it is. Ah, there it is. Oh, uh, hold on. This is cool. I've never seen someone make a keyboard out of Legos. I know, right? Avenging Pineapples, I really like your name. You got the drop, you got this? Wait, which one did you get? Yo, these are fire. I get this one, even though I don't know what the fuck it means. Silly. Yes, Hyperdeck and the novel tiles. Let's go, be Gashin. Ooh. Tell me why I seen something like this on Amazon. So clearly they were swagger jacking these motherfuckers. Yo, Avenging Apples. You ever built a keyboard, bro? Or 
I said avenging apples. Avenging pineapples. You ever built the keyboard? Yo, the next thing I need to get is a coiled cable. The pineapples, you want to send your keyboard? Or you can send, if you want to send, you can send a picture of your keyboard in, um, both of you guys can send a picture of your keyboard in Discord. And I can pull it up right now. If you want. If you, if you want. Uh, oh, and you got these. Ah. Uh, Pineapples, you're all good, bro. Don't worry. Um, welcome. That's all I can say. Welcome to the the build. Um, if you type exclamation point build, it'll tell you what I'm doing. If you type exclamation point MKB, it'll tell you my keyboard. If you type exclamation point tech or setup, tech or setup, one of those will tell you my computer. Um. I play Valorant, I play Overwatch, I play a bunch of games, I did a, a blind dating stream yesterday with one of my friends who's trying to get her a boyfriend, <laughs> it's actually really funny, you can watch it on YouTube if you want, and, um, yeah, I kind of just hang out here on Twitch, um, this is my first moving Switches stream, um, uh, thank you, thank you both. For showing up right now really appreciate you guys i don't have my viewer count on so i don't know how many people are watching this so like if there's anyway you guys you know could follow me if you, if you want you don't have to i appreciate the follows or the subscribes or whatever you want to do just hanging out i don't know who's here exactly but i know i got avenging here i am a Sox fan i'm from chicago my guy i am from chicago Check out my about section. I'm not super into baseball though. I'm not a big baseball guy. Appreciate you, pineapple. Yo, Jab, you want to send a picture of your keyboard? I kind of want to see it. Oh, he did it already. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't have Discord open. Can I open Discord without... Yes! I can open Discord without fucking... Typing anything. Yes. No, um... I, uh... I go to work. I have a job. I do, uh... I actually do something close to this, my guy. Uh... I'm like an IT, so like I, I fix broken MacBooks and stuff at work, and essentially I kind of just, <laughs> I'm a big ass nerd, right? that's what I do, um, and no, I, I'm doing this just because one of my switches on my keyboard, like I was playing, I was playing yesterday, I was playing Valorant yesterday, and I was pressing C, and the C wasn't, or no, I was pressing I, I was trying to type. And the eye wasn't working, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? And I kept pressing the eye. And I'm like, trying to press it. I'm like, dude, my keyboard's broken. And then I was like, fuck. And I started panicking. So then I was like, all right, let me just switch out. Let me switch out a switch. You know, use a switch that I don't use. Or use a, a key that I don't use. Switched it and it was working. And I was like, oh, so my switch isn't working. So that led up to this. That led up to me ordering these. <coughs> Sorry about that, that was kind of loud. That led up to me ordering these on Amazon. Rose Red. Akeo. Akko? Akko? How, how would you say it? Akeo. Akko. And opening up all of my, my, my Gladius 
You're all good. I'll, I'm looking at it right now. I opened up my Gladius Clears. Gladius? How do you say it? I'm stupid. Gladius? Gladius? I opened them up and I, uh, I took out all the stems. So that's why I have them right here. Because I'm pretty sure that the used stems are going to be way better than these stems. Like, way better. I know they're going to be. Um, I also got brand new Duroc stabs. Brand new Duroc stabs, my guy. Ooh, he sent it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, my guy. Okay, my guy. Little flex, little flex. I like the hero. I like the hero. I like the hero. Are just Duroc Linears? Okay, bet. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Yo, is this, is this your mouse? Is this like your wrist rest? Is this the wrist rest? Yo, I like the matching mouse pad too. Yo, this is a flex. This is a flex. This is a flex. I fuck with it, dude. I fuck with it. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, there you go. <laughs> the escape key? Oh, what? So many screen that goes inside my PC case. What? Nah, you lying. There's no way. Are you serious? I'm messing with my screen. No way. Fucking dope, dude. Okay. What kind of switches are these? Damn, that's fucking cool. Yo, that's fucking cool, my guy. Okay. The blue one, too? It's like a light blue one next to it. because the screen will be animated mm. so is that going to be on like the side of your PC or is it going to be like on your on your desk <laughs> also Pineapple, you're hilarious for coming in with that. He said, dude, awesome. I've never seen somebody build a keyboard with Lego pieces before. <laughs> Yo, my guy's a clown. <laughs> Hell no. That's actually funny. None of these are fully closed. Pineapple said I was building this shit with Lego pieces.
this bullshit with my switch and hope this answers it. Okay, I got you. Give me one second. Does this music move to the music? What application is this? It moves the system sounds. What is this? What is it? It's called, oh, I have rain meter. I have rain meter, I use rain meter. But it was it was running too much of my processor. He said the monitor will be going right in front of the motherboard. It's the width of, the, of an iPhone, but taller than the motherboard, so it looks dope. Made with a monitor designed myself. Pretty proud of how it's coming. You made this monitor yourself? Yo, this kid is big brain. Yo, this kid is fucking big brain. It's probably gonna go right there. I know exactly. I can I can see your vision. Yo. Yo. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're big brain, dude. Yeah. 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 You, my friend, are going very far. You still get the monitor on Amazon. Oh, just a purple background you made. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, got it, got it. And your, your PC's running very cold. 41 Celsius? That's good. That's good as hell. Seven bucks with the Raspberry Pi. Oh, you can kind of just connect it outside of your stuff, dude. That's cool. You're giving me ideas, bro. I don't want to spend any more money. I can't look at this. I can't look at this. I can't look at this. No. Jab, you're so raw. Honestly, that's like one of the dopest things I've seen in a very, very long time. And I might just do the same thing. <laughs> Show me your end product whenever you're done. Do you have like a, a plan? Like what, the, an end goal or something for the setup?
with like the flat a flat cable. What's a slim HDMI cable? Have you ever heard of that? Is that baby so was it? <laughs> yeah. You can sell uh, do, is it still in my um my stream title? Does it say ADD down there? Because I myself have ADD myself. <laughs> I said I myself have ADD myself. I myself has ADD as well. These links. Ah. Okay. So you have to do some soldering, my friend. You, my friend, have to do some soldering. Do you solder? assembled. Never mind. You don't have to do any soldering, my friend. Oh! From Amazon? No, Amazon is the motherfucking plug. Yeah, it sounds pretty simple to someone that knows computers. Like, I know what you're talking about, but if you said that to the average bloke, they'd look at you like a crazy person. They'd be like, this guy's a psychopath. He's plugging what into my what? He's hacking the mainframe. <laughs> this dude is from the Matrix. I only understand you because I'm, I'm an IT geek. Um, what GPU you got, brother? If it's a 30 series, you win. You're the alpha. You are king. gonna look so good that project has been on the back burner since the HDMI cable it took like 40 days to get to you jeez Louise. but that's the best though when you wait so long for something to come in and you finally get it oh me too my boy I got the 2070 super 2 I forgot what my command is for my PC I think it's exclamation point PC <laughs> Nope. <laughs> ah, there it is. There it is. Where's 
Where's my... I'm over here lubing the motherfucking stem. I haven't even lubed my damn... I haven't lubed my damn spring first. God damn it. What am I doing? My build ain't nothing special. It ain't nothing special, but it does the job. Very similar setup. Corsair Cooler and a Corsair Ram. See, the thing is, me and Corsair had a very, 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 very bad experience, my guy. Bad. Bad experience, man. My Corsair keyboard was was, was sending my key, my my computer into the blue screen of death, bro. I don't know if you want me to tell you this story, but it was super fucked up. Where basically IQ, IQ, which is Corsair's like like thing for their likes, was bugging. And Armory, Armory and Cor Ar Armory and IQ was sending my computer into the blue blue screen of death for like six months. Okay, good, good, good. 32. Dude, I'm thinking about upgrading. I'm thinking about upgrading. Yeah, I, it was probably, I sold my keyboard. I sold the keyboard. As soon as I sold the keyboard, like I basically rebuilt my PC and it was still happening. And the only thing I had left from my old PC was my keyboard. Yeah, IQ's fine for everybody else, I know. I made a whole Reddit post about it. <laughs> I know it's fine for everybody else off screen. <laughs> that was the whole thing, man. I was fucked. I was fucked. No. It was such a weird situation. Uh, no, I've, when I coded, I think I, <laughs> the most coding I did was like building a website that I could show you guys, and yeah, I suck, you're really smart, dude, and um, I was learning C++, barely got through the first section of that, um, <laughs> uh, I wanted to learn Java, I wanted to, I'm a fake coder, I'm a coder that that made websites for people. I made websites on, on, on Wix and I told people I was a coder. That's the type of coder I am, you know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be blunt and straight up. I wanted to go to school for it. I told you I dropped out and like, yeah. Jab, maybe, maybe in the future we can code together. But um, I've heard a lot about React. I've heard a lot about um, Python. Moderator status on Stack Overflow, which is a huge accomplishment. So, okay, that's what I heard. Python is like English. Python is basically what everything is built off of, right? Like that's the skeleton. Now, what about Apple coding um, with Swift? What do you think is going to be more useful? I don't know how old you are, Jab, but like every time I talk to somebody about coding and they're like, they're younger, they're like, it's mainly for backend. Swift or Python? What are we talking about? Or React? Python. Okay, okay.
Objective C. Is Swift what they use to make like, um, like App Store games, like stuff on the App Store, or is that just used for like overall the base of like Mac operating systems? I don't be getting this shit, dude. I'm a dumbass. I think I'm smart, but I got a lot to learn. A lot, of, a lot to learn. I got a lot to learn. Still a young book. Does Objective C. Dude, you're smart. How old are you, bro? You're literally just the big brain. You're 29. You're young. You probably have a fucking... Kids or no kids? Let me know if you have kids. Because if you have kids, you probably have a fine lady, too. Because all the... Look, everybody I know that's big brain and, like, codes and stuff, all of their girlfriends or wives or wives, they be so fine. My boy probably bagged him a baddie. dogs though that's what I love as long as you're a dog person that's good though my boy got a girlfriend too you live in life and he's a coder I'm happy for you bro where are you from Chicago Chicago you from the shy boy you from the shy My sister's in the military. My sister's in the Air Force. She is stationed in Las Vegas. You from New York? Hey. New York is basically Chicago. <laughs> What part of Texas you at? I know Texas is hot right now. And Texas be having tornadoes and shit, bro. Especially in this time of the year. What? The, where's DFW? Yeah, and it gets cold. Oh, Dallas Fort Worth, okay. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay. I'm guessing this is your this is your this is like the Facebook of coding. Daily grind by day, cold happiness by night. I truly enjoy it, man. Dude, holy shit. Top 1.8 percentage. Is one. Bro, you're a smart fuck. smart shit bro you're gonna go very far in life brother thank you for joining my stream today bro for real i appreciate you for coming and also for following and also for staying bro 
Seriously. Ah, oh, fuck. You just let me drop my thing. I just dropped my paintbrush in the loo, bro. You didn't tell me. You just saw me drop my shit in the loo. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Chad. I'm kidding. <clears throat> You better not. You better not. You want to know why you have to keep doing it? It's because the world is unforgiving. All right. So if you have somebody that appreciates you like me and wants to know more about you, you better keep talking about yourself, bro. Because there's sometimes there's people in the world that genuinely don't even care about other people. And you want to know something? I'm not one of those people. I actually like and enjoy talking to every single one of the people that join my stream. When it came down to it, when I first started streaming, bro, I treated every single person with the same respect. I used to stream and not care how many viewers are in my stream. If it was just one, two, three, four, five, it didn't matter, bro. I would just talk to one, just like right now, bro. And, like, I'm not going to lie, I kind of let that fade away. Like, because, like, I started gaining followers. I started, like doing a little better like my streams are doing good and i kind of just forgot about that and was like just letting the the glory get to me bro and i stopped so like i stopped appreciating people and like i stopped singling out people and making them feel like people you know i just started streaming being like oh yeah i'm just streaming y'all are watching me no bro like you need to be personal let people know about you i want to know about you I like knowing about people, bro. I want to be your friend. Honestly, like, you seem like a cool guy. And outside of the stream shit, like I said, I want to go to school for coding. Who knows? You might end up helping me on a project later down the line. <laughs> and thank you for expressing these things to me, dude. Because, like, people like you make other people realize, yo, I should talk about myself more. Because there's, there's a lot about me that people may like. And I don't tell, you know? I don't talk about it. So, keep going, dude. Keep going. Enough of me ranting. Um, you, you didn't tell me what branch of military you're in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I started streaming Overwatch. That's where I got all my followers from. <laughs> People still watch Overwatch, bro. People in my Discord play Overwatch every day. Um, and people in my Discord will watch you play Overwatch. So if you want, you should start streaming again, bro. I'll join your streams. I'll watch. Also, Phasmophobia is the shit. That game was on the rage. Have you played uh, Ghost Hunter's Corpse? Which is like, I don't know, the updated, the updated phasmophobia. Navy, dude. The Navy is hard, bro. You were popping off. Dude, your streams were popping off. Why'd you stop? Fuck. Oh, no. You just said you had to switch. Yeah, I feel that. Damn. Dude, that's really fucking good. Clearly, you made it to affiliate, right?
Really? Look, bro, I'm gonna be honest. I played not even two minutes of Ghost Hunter's Corpse because that shit scared the fuck out of me one day. <laughs> I played a lot more Phasmophobia and I haven't played it since the update, so it might be better. I have it. I have it, so I can still play. I played on stream one time. Is Phasma really better? Why do I always tell, hear people saying Ghost Hunter is better? People are always saying Ghost Hunter's Corpse is better. Yo, Bombi, what's up, dude? Oh, just your opinion? Hey, who knows? You might be right. Bobby, how you been, dude? Haven't seen you in a while. I'm saying, dude. Haven't seen you since, like, the... The, um... The Minecraft streams. How's life? How's school? You still in school, right? Yo, it's better still be in school, boy. Way better UI. Three, four more ghosts. Oh, Jesus. Way more scarier. What? Good, Bombi. Keep your ass in school. Yo, Bombi. I think we got a... We got a new Minecraft server, my guy. Just to let you know. So no need to hide with no flashlight. Oh my god. Yo, Jab. We might have to do a, a Phasmophobia stream soon. And all ghosts can outrun you now? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know Beat Guy, Bobby? My mod? Big guy, bro. He's my mod. He's in the Discord. I play Minecraft too. Pretty active. Oh, yeah. Well, we have we have his Java. It's not my realm. It's it's my it's my mod Big guys. So, whenever he's streaming, um, join his stream and ask if you can pull up. No, you're good, Bombi. Don't worry. You're good. We have a new, we have a new, uh, well, it's not we, Brandon, which is, uh, Big Guy, he has a new Minecraft server. So talk to him, he'll get you in there. Dude, you should see the fucking, you should see the server that this dude off screen and Elder Denied made, bro. These guys literally made a, a, a village. Off screen, off screen, please tell this man. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's homie's server. I mean, I'm not talking about the server. I'm talking about the freaking village you got. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys literally built a bridge. Like, an actual bridge. Just just a bridge. <laughs> so, like, what is this? A bridge? Where does it go? Nowhere. <laughs> it's just a bridge. Breeding villagers too. <laughs> what happened to that server? Is it is it good? Yo, Jab, Jab, do you play uh, Minecraft? Like now, or did you stop? Cause they updated a bunch of stuff, bro. Oh, it's still up. What happened last time? Why did it say like you you were disconnected?
I'm here there, but I burnt myself out. Yeah, that's how I feel about Minecraft now. I used to play it so much in high school. I used to study to the Minecraft music. The Minecraft music was so fucking, like, stimulating. You beat the Ender? You guys beat the Ender? I don't even know. Yo, Oscar, tell me why we're making numbers now. We're at 21. Oh no, how much? 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We're at 19. <sighs> Do you guys mind if I take a toke break? Also, can I let my dog use the bathroom real fast? Do you guys mind if I do that? Is that okay? Ooh. The jazz is hidden right now, bro. Just off of some stuff. Okay. I'm gonna look at it. Yo, Jab. Off screen. Could you guys give me, um... Yeah, two minutes. I just want to let my dog pee. And, uh, yeah. That stuff. <laughs> okay, but thank you guys. I'm be right back. Um, hey, Jab, I don't know if you're subscribed or anything, but you're following. So I'm going to run an ad. And this ad's going to basically stop people from um, getting an ad when they first join my stream. So that's going to basically help in the long run. I don't want to have people getting ads when they first join. So you're not going to miss anything. I'm just going to be using the bathroom. I'm going to take my dog out. I'm going to run a, a, a 1.30 ad. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, but for sure. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you guys. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the jazz music going.
What's up, gang? My bad, I took longer than usual. <laughs> Alright. Now. This is gonna suck. Jab. It's gonna suck. I know it's gonna suck. You might hate me for this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna say anything crazy. I'm not gonna be funny or anything. But I'm gonna run this last ad. Alright. The ad. It's a it's a three minute. It's a three minute ad. So I know <laughs> it's gonna suck. I know. I, I hate that I have to run these. You didn't get the ad? Hey, hell yeah. Alright, but well, this is gonna stop ads from coming ads from coming in for the next four hours. And that's probably gonna get us good for this. And I'll be done for both boxes. And we'll have no ads. So I'm gonna run the ad now. And yeah, I love you, Jab. I love you too, off screen. What are y'all? What were y'all talking about while I was gone? What were y'all talking about? Village stacking. Oh, Minecraft stuff. Redstone computers. Oh, the farm. Oh shit. Holy cannoli. What the fuck am I looking at? Please, please tell me what I'm looking at. <laughs> but he's floating in midair. He's floating. Wow. What is this? Made over an ocean? <laughs> Yo, what? What? What am I even looking at? That's outside the collection area. What am I even looking at right now? <laughs> this look it looks fake. <laughs> this is insane. No, I'm not saying it's fake, like for real. I'm just saying like it's it's so unbelievable. Like <laughs> like bro, you're crazy. You're complete you're absolutely nutty. Like, what the heck? Mm-hmm. This man is a Minecraft god. What is this green stone? What is this? What is it? What are these? What is it? How? 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 <laughs> Of the nether hub. Oh. This is crazy, dude. Glass floors. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are, 
You guys are on a whole different world. Dark Prismarine. Bedrock Edition. I think I do. I do have the Bedrock Edition. We just play on Java. You know what I mean? The homies. Look, now we got no ads for the next three hours. Hey. <coughs> Yo, Jabs, I'm gonna just say it again. Thank you again for staying and hanging out. You're a really cool guy. Also, can we think of a name? Can we think of a name? Can we think of a name for this, bro? Like, you know how people be making up names? What does it look like? It has a white top and a pink body. Oh, okay. Alright, Jeb. Let me see. Give me a name first before you leave. Strawberry milkshake? <laughs> I think strawberry milkshake goes. I bet. Okay, bet, 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 bet. Thank you again, Jabs, for hanging out. Hopefully, I see you again, my boy. Thank you for everything that you sent. You're also in the Discord now, so I'm gonna definitely be hitting you up. I'm gonna show you the end build. Be up late tonight, probably. Definitely gonna be up late. It's already 10:30. I'm only done. I'm not even halfway done. Oh, it's all good, dude. I'll wave like this if I need you. I'll make a J. I'll make a J with my hands. I'll go like... I don't know. Milkshake. Definitely fits. Call them Ackle Milkshakes? No, we'll just call them Milkshakes. Because it's a blend between Gladius Clears, which are the stems, and Ackle Rose Reds. What are we going to call them? Clear Roses? <gasps> Clear Roses! <sighs> Okay, nope, I changed it. I changed my mind. Changing them to clear roses. I like that. Oh, I like that so much. Oh my god, I just combed. Jab's gonna be mad I changed the name. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I like clear roses. <laughs> Makes sense.
Does that not make sense off screen? Off screen, you can you can type with the foreign beats if you want. If you don't want your mod thing to show up, but I don't really care. I don't really care. You feel me? It's up to the other people. You like clear roses too, right? On oh God, clear roses kind of slap. Nani? <laughs> oh shit. Not me putting in a switch without the spring. <laughs> Not me lubing a switch without lubing the spring first. What am I doing, bro? That's what happens. Not lubing a switch, lubing a stem without lubing the spring first. Tweaking. I like clay roses too. I'm a lock, I'm a lock, I'm a lock in, I'm a lock in. We gotta finish these tonight, baby. Alex has a YouTube video? Can you send it to me? It's kind of hard to get on there. Scaling that bitch. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> Whoa. All right, we're gonna start taking them off, yeah. It's always the worst part. Matt's is off too. I got 80. Yep. 
80. Off the lay. 90, 90. We'll meet you at 90. the pole? We'll meet you at the pole? Cool. That's if I do all of them, but I think I'm only gonna do enough for my keyboard. Yeah, yep. off, off the lay. We'll meet you at the pole. We'll meet you at the pole. So I need to do a 62 or 61. All I need to do a 60 or 62. I'm gonna do 62, just in case. Chaos. I'm gonna lock in and see how many switches I can do until 11 o'clock. Alright. Starting now.
That's nice. I said I'm, I gotta lock in real quick and see how many I can do before 11 o'clock. Um, Guild Wars 2. The funny thing about Guild Wars 2 is, I think my homies used to play it. Not Guild Wars 2, but Guild Wars. I used to play it when I was a kid. And I wanted to play. I just didn't understand how to play it. And I kind of did the same thing with World of Warcraft. I didn't know how to play that fucking game. Like, actually play it. I just knew, like, oh, run around, complete quests, turn in quests. You know? Definitely a time, time grinder. Time grinder for sure. So what was better, Guild Wars or World of Warcraft? In your opinion. What's the big difference? Big difference. Like, what makes it so much? Like, what? What stands out between World of Warcraft and Guild Wars? Like, what's a couple differences? Not just one big difference. What's a, what's a couple differences for you that you would consider a? You know a reason why you don't you choose one over the other. Why not bag loser springs or just overall over the loop? Should I bag loop bro? I don't know. I've read so many things that just says don't bag loop. I don't know. Jab, I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Am I wasting time by not bag looping? say I don't have a reason to bag loop or a reason not to bag loop. I just feel like I watch tutorials and they say I do this and I'm like okay. You know what I mean? We're still doing numbers. And Jeb, I don't know if you heard but I'm only gonna do 62 62 switches today. <clears throat> Which is the amount I need to do. So 62. This is the number we're going for. And we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 23. And we have 23 done.
Wait, Guild Wars is not subscription based? I thought you needed a subscription for Guild Wars. Hey, can you tell him my response, Jeb? Or, Foreign? Tell him I said I'm only not bag looping, me, looping because the tutorials told me to do it like this. <laughs> you don't have to say it if you don't want to, but yeah, it's all good. And I also can't type to him. How many times <laughs> you want to know the over under for things dropped? I think I've dropped things at least seven times. So give me an over under. How many times do you think I'm gonna drop? Give me like, what do you think? <laughs> 14 and a half. If I drop more than 14 and a half or 15, I give the sub. If I drop less than 14 times, you give the sub. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was so loud and obnoxious.
<laughs> What's up, Jen? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so you're telling me it looks like it looks like Colin's Colin's bad sunburn. <laughs> no. No, please, Lord, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we thought of a name. We thought of a name. We thought of a name. The name we thought of was, um, the name we thought was of, um, Claire Roses. Instead of milkshakes. Because milkshakes are already taken. We're going to do... I said clear roses because it's the Gladius Clears. With the milkshake Akeo. So, or, not milkshake. I'm so stupid. Red Rose Akeo. So, clear rose. I don't know. I like it. My dog keeps barking. Clear. Like, uh, so these are the red roses. And they're called Gladius? Gladius? Gladius, right? Gladius? Clears? I can't look it up. You know I'm stupid, Jab. No, not glorious, my man. Is it glorious? Is it gl gl no. You type, type MKB, bro. Do exclamation point MKB. I don't know how to say it. I'm stupid. <laughs> Gatreon. 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 Gat. 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 Yeah. I'm stupid, dude. I told you. <laughs> novice. Novice. Okay. Novice. Gateron. 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 See, I don't know if I would be able to. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to survive in the keyboard world without um jab. Yeah, I also am high. <laughs> Shut up. Don't be telling my business. <laughs> Get her on. Oh, shit. Ergo Roses? Oh. There go roses. Ooh. That sounds sexy. Sounds like a porno. I like that. Browns. I almost, I almost went that way. I almost went the tactile way. But God has taken me another route, another direction. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Mr. Spring, what are you doing? What? Oh, dude, get the fuck out of there, bruh. I'm not about to chase you, Spring.
That's Ergo Clears. It mixes clears with the brown spring. Ooh, they got here. Oh, it's been a while. Right, oh, so. glasses. Glasses. Oh, Jesus. No. Jab. You want me to tell you something? He said, should I dump? <laughs> you got a, you got a teacher, bro. You know what you should do? You should buy clickies and then make them like super, super loud. Or like make your keyboard just super loud and like game next to her and be like, what, you don't like it? I thought you said you like clickies. <laughs> really? You, oh man. See, funny thing is my mod um, off screen or foreign beats he has clickies as well he loves clickies that's his thing he likes clickies <laughs> to have an essay next to her with no stabs exactly dude st straight up just get him stock and start just going at it just going tight monkey and just you know I'm practicing my keys <laughs> Type racer. <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's what I was saying. That's why they make them. Cause I'm not gonna lie. My first keyboard that I bought with this setup was a, was they had blue. It was blue blue switches. I remember. And I returned that shit within a day. This year. <laughs> Look, man. Look, man. Some people like coleslaw. What can you do? You feel me? Some people like coleslaw. That's the best way I can put it. Do I think there's a differences between nerds and geeks? Hmm. I feel like a geek is super, super smart in like the academic sense. Like if you're a geek, like, you know, but a nerd is like, kind of like one of us, you know, like, into anime or into building keyboards or into like computers or like into like something that's super specific and like you know like almost I feel like a lot of people that are that are nerds have ADD and ADHD and geeks don't because geeks have like a really good in, in school you know like a geek is someone that's like I'm a geek <clears throat> snark tiny horn you know what I mean like that's like a geek I don't know Oh, I'm, look at me. I'm fucking... You see this? Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see what I'm doing? Do you see this? I started fucking moving this. And what is that? I think I did it. Well, first minute. Yes, exactly. 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 You got it right. We're on the same. We're on the same track. Cause I will accept it. I will accept. I will accept the title. Nerd. If someone call me a nerd. Both are smart. Both are smart. I'm not gonna say both aren't smart, but I'm saying one is more book smart. BRB, find a match. All right, my guy. I'm gonna be here. <laughs> you just peaced out so quick. He said BRB. <laughs> I'll be here, Jab. Don't be a nerd, all right?
said they look like pimples on someone's back. I'm dead. They kind of do now. <laughs> Me too, bro. Me too.
sorry, make the table.
You guys are ready to act up? Try to act a little crazy? Daddy, chill. Tell me we're not making good headway though. Another thing dropped. Crystal roses. Even better, to be honest. Do you think crystal would be blue? Or snow roses? Snow roses? I do, I do like ergo roses and I do like clear roses. Clear roses is like my number one right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Ergo roses is definitely number two. Crystal roses more than oh okay okay glassy roses ooh that one's a little spicy glassy roses oh shit that actually I like that. Glassy is kind of glassy. Bleached roses. Ooh. I like that too. Off white rose. How about that? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Yo, bleached roses, okay. That sounds like an anime that I'd watch. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Let's see, that's too nice. <laughs> it does sound like an episode of Squid Game or something. Yeah, off screen, have you finished Squid Games yet? Rose Gats? I like that. But you're kind of combining the brand name with the type of switch, you know what I mean? Still don't matter, but I like that too. Still like clear roses. <laughs> Mm. 
Your picture? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. What do it not swap? That shit swap.
doing whiskey with H2O croutons right now. <coughs> what is that? What, what are you talking about? Whiskey and ice with this. This is very, uh, very much a uh, chill, classical, by the fire, you know, smoking a cigar, snowy outside. None of that's, yeah, none of that's gonna work. Sorry. <laughs> If you notice, none of my noties worked either. When they followed and stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. You gotta be looking to, looking to throw off the vibe with a fart. <laughs> Assholes. That's what y'all are. Just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Throw a little spice in the mix. Just shit yourself in the middle of a looping switches. up the lurkers the lurkers are here they're just lurking that's what lurkers do you know sometimes they like to lurk they like to just watch from a distance and if you are lurking thank you so much I appreciate you all for lurking and staying. And if you can type. Yeah, thank you. If you can't type, thank you anyways. Cause they all can't use their keyboards. Why, why can't they use their keyboards? Cause they're building. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> you're an idiot. That's a good reason though. That's just my dumbass. I have an extra keyboard. It's just like, it's actually your keyboard. Remember the keyboard that you gave me? Almost moved the wrong switch again. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, I got that thing.
back in them days. The glory days. All my hand-me-down parts. Thank you. Never said that to you guys. Thank you. You and Alex. Wouldn't be here without us. Hmm. Moving stones without having to fucking... <sighs> Spring lubed again. Yeah, I probably did. <laughs> well, I'm reiterating it, my boy. Thank you. Man, bro, I really wonder how B guy's doing, bro. He ain't respond to you, G. Big bro gonna be alright. bagels I ate a corned beef sandwich on an onion bagel made my breath smell like rancid ass but it was really fucking good and I got some more bagels upstairs that I'm probably gonna eat later yeah dude that was dude that shit was so good I got, I think I got a raisin, cinnamon raisin, onion, we got an egg bagel upstairs, oof, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat good, I'm gonna eat good, baby, bagels, baby. My bad, Yvonne, you see me locked in right now, right? Okay, so I wanna, I really wanna get to the end product. Take a smoke break once I finish this box. Smoke break. Smoke. 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 What's your plan for tomorrow? Work? You got your crib now. You're locked in. What's your plan? We should do something, bro. We didn't do anything this weekend. Yeah, I know, but like... Yeah. 
You have what? How many? How many days? How many days exactly do you have? Till you gotta leave. I also do want to come back. I want to. I want to go there with you at some point in time. For a weekend of November first. Okay. Are you driving there with your parents? Or are you driving there? Oh shit! Are you driving there with uh, by yourself? My dad has to fly out. What you mean? Oh yeah, you were telling me that. You gotta set your shit up before the end of the month. So, is there a way for you to set that up out here and then they like mail you the keys or something? I don't know. I wouldn't say mail you, but yeah, you, you definitely gotta go pick up your keys. Second week of November. What's your job say? Do they care about like your moving situation? saying like I don't even know if they're gonna give me the job this and the that the next thing you know look at that I literally remember when you were just on my you were literally just chilling at the crib in the discord all day I remember the day you quit your job bro this shit is fucking crazy and now look like, I remember the conversation we are having together. Dang. I think we're locked in. We're locked in with uh, with um, clear roses. It's either going to be clear roses or crystal roses. I have a Springer Spaniel American Eskimo. His name is Roxas. Do I have any pictures of him? Yeah, he's a Springer Spaniel American Eskimo. Let me see. This is him. This walks this. This my buddy. You ever play Kingdom Hearts? That's where he gets his name from. Yeah, Roxas, I love him. It's a game. It's like a uh, uh, I'm back. It's like a, um, a JRPG, Japanese RPG game. Don't worry, it's not unfortunate. You're good. You see how many I've done though? I'm almost done, mama. 
Okay, bet. As long as you've seen it, then you're good. Oh, okay, bet. The lady is definitely cultured. She knows her shit. Oh. How old is it? She, he. And also, what's her name? Or his name? The staff here is five or six, and the husky chef is two, both male. Yeah, you got high energy dogs, huh? They be going around your house going crazy. For sure. The husky, for sure. Huskies are so fucking high energy, bro. I want a husky so bad. They be like, they be having fun. Like, they literally have fun. They tear the place apart, right? <laughs> high energy dogs, bro. My dog's kind of a high energy dog, but he's also like super chill. Like he likes to be chill. Like you, he don't like the high energy dogs. He gets mad when the high energy dogs are too high high energy around him. That's hilarious, dude. You should send pictures in Discord. What? No way. That, you have to send a picture of that. How do you have a light orange eye? Is this a Naruto? Is your dog Naruto, bro? Is your dog Sasuke? Okay, but you're good. How are the how are the matches, bro? You've been winning. Tell me you've been winning at least. And also, are they comp or quick play?
Oh my god. Am I dropping everything? Finish the box. We have just finished the whole box. Oh, what? So it's this. 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. No, it's not. Six hours later. <laughs> Literally six hours later. Uh, don't say it like that, cause then it makes me feel like I, bruh, like I haven't been doing shit. <laughs> Cough in the mic real fucking loud. Really? No. Nah, I can't do that. <laughs> no filters on right now bro like nothing like if I you guys hear how loud that is <laughs> here I'll take a rip of some weed and maybe I'll cough let's close up these Done. Yeah, garbage. It's not garbage, but carcasses, stabilizer, some springs. I should keep those springs though, right? I should keep these springs, Jab. Should I keep these springs? For my get clears? I'm not throwing this away, I'm just saying, should I keep them? I'm gonna see you. <coughs> I didn't even realize it was 12 o'clock. <coughs> I only did 45 of these. I need 62. So let's keep going. Hey, it's about that time, it's about that time.
slap sneeze and stands up. <laughs> okay. These guys. No. Wait, your buddy. Wait, your buddy. <laughs> Too cute. And brother and sister. Or, no, no, I'm sorry. Brother and brother. And we're brothers. And we're living and we're happy and we're. Let's finish it. Oh. Yo, how many grams? How much force does it take for for gat clears? Because these are forty three. I'm sure gat clears. I think I clear a little more now. So I need to do. Okay, let's just keep going. I oh, don't don't count it. Let's just keep going. <gasps> Look at that bent prong. Oh man, that was not cool.
Alexa, turn on all lights. Okay. Did I mod the board? Um, I mean, other than the bandit mod, you just put some more dielectric grease on it and call it a day. That's all I'm doing to the board. Um, there is foam in here. There's foam. There's also like a big ass metal. Um, they gonna get looped. Hundred percent gonna get looped. Hundred percent. And I'm gonna. Uh, I guess these don't have it. The legs. I guess it. Yeah, they don't have it. You know the little legs at the bottom of the stabilizer, the little white thing. I guess these don't have it. These are um, plate bonded. 
Yeah, definitely they're snapping. I'm just praying that I got the right amount. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, they, they already come clipped. I thought they didn't. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. All res B. Appreciate you. Yeah, I don't need to. So, what I have next after these is literally just put dielectric grease on the band aids, loop these guys, um, install these guys, put these on, put on my keycaps. The Gucci, baby. <coughs> Keep on going, baby. Keep on going. Keep on going. We're almost done, to be honest. <laughs> Four beats. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. See how this sounds. Oh my god. Not me having two open switches. What am I doing? Y'all didn't see that. Y'all motherfuckers are sleeping, bro. That I should be me too. I'm gonna be asleep soon though. Not worry about it. 
I stayed up too late last night. You know what I mean? But I keep hearing switches flying. <laughs> Yo, Alvarez B, appreciate you for the follow, dude. Um, how'd you find my channel, if you're still here? Nose is itchy.
once again if you guys are still here <clears throat> if you guys are still here thank you for hanging out I didn't move it. Okay, I was going to say. Alright, Jab. I'm finishing up. I'll see you later. Show up for the next stream, my boy. Sweet dreams. Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. As I finish the last switch.
Thank you for the follow. <laughs> YX World? Y World? YX RLD? Or Yum? Yes, it is jazz. Relaxing jazz music. While I lubricate my stabilizers. Sorry, X the nice. <laughs> what you mean? Why are you, why are you screaming at me too? <laughs> How you feeling today though, bro? Also, how'd you find me? Got you on the hydrate, homie. Give me a second. So you better stay for the final build, bro.
dilator grease. Can put that on my band-aids, baby.
Alexa, set all lights bright white. Okay. So, turn on ceiling lights. Okay.
greasy. Even though I can't really type. What? I'm satisfied. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate you guys um, for being here. It's been a long stream. It's been all of seven hours. I'm going to... Whew, man. can't believe I made it. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to pass this over to a friend. Yeah. Thank you guys. Till next time. Peace. Sorry. 